Hello and welcome to another episode of Tips and Ideas with Ed Wallace, Midwest Landscaping, www.uniqueenvironments.com. We are here in uh, Tustin, California, and I'm just going to go and walk, do a walkthrough and show you our uh, drip irrigation installation. We did a Netafim uh, drip installation above ground instead of uh, the subsurface, which I normally do for the karapi and some other jobs, other plant material. We did a, a, a surface installation of uh, Netafilm 0.6 per gallon per hour drip line. And um, just want to show you how I got the grid going. We had it on for about a half an hour, close to an hour. You can kind of see the wetting pattern of what we have here. What I did is I ran the drip line on both sides of the plant. And there's a couple plants where um, the actual emitter, it seems like it's not really getting enough water to the area where we have to have the plant or where the plant is located. So what I'll do is put in a, a half a gallon or a gallon uh, per hour drip emitter by that plant. So that way we'll be able to be sure to get water. But um, the way that these emitters are spaced, they're spaced one foot on center. So one foot apart, the emitters are located. And over here where we have this um, Palo Verde tree, we're gonna put in an adjustable emitter so if this tree needs to have extra water we can be able to use an adjustment and adjust it so that we can get more water for the tree because I didn't run a bunch of uh, drip line circling around the tree which normally we do uh, I figured we put a uh, adjustable 360 emitter on there and we'll be fine you notice the blue piping here is our hydro rain, hydro rain uh, blue lock irrigation system where we use the components for the blue lock. It makes it really easy, fast, and efficient to do a dual installation. That pipe is pressure rated out to like about 350 pounds PSI. We will be burying that blue pipe. There's two pipes. One of them is for the planter bed right here, and this one right here is actually for the header for our subsurface drip that we'll be installing here in this main yard area. So this other header is gonna come over on this side of the uh, of the bender board and these uh, fittings here, these T's with the uh, male uh, fittings here for the drip tubing is going to go just like this. They're going to be spaced out about a foot apart and we'll run our Netafim line to the other side of the yard here. We'll have a header over here. The header over here will be another, it'll be just the uh, Netafim drip line. This is our Netafim 0.6 gallon per hour drip tubing. There's one of the fittings. There's one of the fittings, one of the emitters right here. So it just shows you this is their 0.6 gallon per hour emitter. But this will be utilized as a header on this side of the of the yard. And also we're gonna have a header that goes alongside this edge here. So uh, we'll take the header from this point over to this point. Uh, coming off of here so that way we'll have um, efficient water enough water supply to be able to efficiently water this backyard karapia proposed karapia area we have a couple plants these kangaroo paul they bit the dust and so i talked with the client and uh, I'm, we're going to do something different here it's a lot of kangaroo paul i don't really like kangaroo paul uh, the botanical name i can't recall it right now but it's just deaf wish for me right now it's really hot here. The reflective heat off of the house and off of the sidewalk. This is a southern facing uh, planter bed. So I'm talking about succulents, something that's really unique. There's a dining room there. So when you look out, it'd be something really nice to look at. The kangaroo paw are doing really nice up near the fence because it's a little bit more shade. So, but that's uh, the outlook here. I'm gonna bring in the gravel to finish up this uh, sustainable feature. That's part of the plan here for the uh, Metropolitan Water District in order to qualify for the rebate. So let's give me a quick update and show you how I installed the subsurface drip, but actually on top the surface drip to our landscape. Ed Wallace, Midwest Landscaping. Tips and ideas, www.uniqueenvironments.com. Click that like button, throw in some comments, let me know what you think, give me some questions. Some tips from you will be fine too. And hit that notification bell so when your boy puts something up, you'll know about it. Thanks for watching.